Hi there everyone. In this video, I will show you how to progress to any unsigned iOS version with SHSH blobs. And I will also show you how to fix the future restores errors. So I will help you until the very end. You can see that my iPhone SE is connected. It is on 14.8. So in this tutorial, we will downgrade it to 14.5.1. You can use this tutorial to downgrade your iPhone or iPad to any version, be it 14.3, 14.5.1, provided you have the SHSH blocks and the latest SAP and baseband of the latest signed version is compatible. First of all, open the TSS Saver website. I have attached a file in the description that has all the useful links. Now click on Retrieve, go to iTunes, connect your phone and click here on the serial number two times and you will see your ECID. Right click it, copy it. Now paste it here and click on Submit. Click on open link. Now you will see the list of all the blobs for the iOS versions that you have saved when these versions were signed. All right. If you see a 404 error, meaning you haven't saved any blobs. Now, for example, you want to downgrade to 14.5.1. All right. Just click here. You will see one or many blobs here. All right, download them all. I will show you why. I have made a folder here, and you can see that I have already downloaded the two blobs that were listed here. Next, open this website again. You will find the link in the file that I have attached. Now click identify my device. Now turn your device over, remove the case if you have one and type the model number here. So mine is A16622. Click on identify my device. All right, as you can see, it has identified my device. So it's an iPhone SE and you can see that the latest signed version at the time of making this video are 14.8 and 15.0. Now download the latest signed version. So we will download the 14.8 IPSW. All right, download it from here. I have already downloaded the 14.8 IPSW, all right. Now, download the IPSW for the version you want to downgrade to. So, I want to downgrade to 14.5.1. Click on it. Scroll down and download this file. You can see that I have already downloaded the 14.5.1 IPSW. Next up, download the latest version of Future Restore. Again, you have the link in the file, all right? Now, download it for Windows. You have the zip file here. Just download it to the, your computer and then extract it to get this .exe file, all right? Now, guys, go back to this website. Go to your model. Now, go to device information. You can see that the iPhone SE has two boards okay board one this is the board config and board two and this is the board config now to find your board config now guys you can see the phone on your screen and it is jailbroken with checkering and now open cdr now go to sources you have to add this source apt.arx atx.net I will add the repo in the file that I have mentioned before. You can add a repo by clicking on edit, then add, and then add the repo. 
go to this repo all packages and install this tweak called system info restart springboard so when the tweak is installed head to settings general about scroll all the way down and you will see your board config here and you will see the platform that is n69 uap for my iphone se model it can be different for your model okay now remember that you have this board config now guys go to the folder that have all the files that you have downloaded you have to extract the ipsw that is signed all right you can extract it using 7-zip or winrar all right extract it here all right guys as you can see we have extracted this ipsw and here is the folder now to reduce your confusion i will delete the ipsw itself all right now open this in a new window open them side by side all right now we need some components from here first of all we need the build manifest move it here all right now go to firmware we will need the bbfw file that is the baseband firmware just move it out here all right now go to all flash you have to move one of the sep here all right so you can be confused that there are many steps now i told you that the board config is important so if your device has two different boards you can see that my device is n69 uap and the other one is n69 ap so i need the u1 all right so you can see that here we have the n69 u sap firmware available you can see the size all right we will move this file all right now we are done you can close this folder you can also delete this folder because we will not be needing it anymore done now let's move to the sh sh blobs I have downloaded i told you to download all the listed blobs to reduce your confusion we need this generator in one of these blobs it is 0 multiplied by 16 times 1 okay remember that now let's open them one by one right click open with notepad now edit find generator and find next you see that the generator in this blob is different remember i told you that we need 0 multiplied by 16 times 1 close it out you can delete it if you want now let's check this blob open with notepad edit find generator and find next all right so this is the blob that we need for this downgrade it has this string all right all right guys you can see the device on your screen now you have to set the generator simply open cdia go to sources and add this source you will find the source in the file that i have provided in the description or right. just go to edit add and add this source i have also provided this source in the file that i have attached in the description open it go to all packages and you will find this generator auto setter just install this package you can see that it will automatically set generator to 0 multiply by 16 times 1 you don't need to do anything install it 
So as you can see that the generator is now set, just restart Spring World. Alright guys, so the, all the steps are now complete. Now we will downgrade the device. Alright guys, now let's downgrade. Click the start button, type here CMD, open a command prompt. Alright. Okay. Now drag and drop the future restore exe here. Put a space hyphen t and drag the blob. Okay. Now space hyphen b. Now the baseband. All right. Now space hyphen p. Now drag the build manifest. Space and hyphen s. Now drag the sep firmware here. Done. Now space hyphen and M. I put a space here. Now drag the build manifest again. Put a space here. Now drag the IPSW you want to downgrade to. In my case, 14.5.1. Okay, now press enter. You can see now the very first <coughs> now guys the very first error you will see is unable to place device into recovery mode from normal mode now just turn the device off Disconnect it and put the device into recovery board manually. Right. So the device is in recovery mode now. Now press the up arrow key on the keyboard and it will bring the command again up. Cancel any prompt you see from iTunes. Now press enter again. Now you can see the restore mode error is now gone. Now it will extract the file system from the IPSW. Now guys, the second error that you will see is the unable to send IPAC component, unable to find device, unable to send IPAC to device. To fix it, go to this PC, right click, manage, Go to device management. Go to universal serial bus devices. You will find Apple Recovery iBoot USB composite device. Right click, uninstall device, and check this checkbox. Delete the driver software for this device. Uninstall it. Okay, now all three devices will disappear. Open command prompt and now just disconnect the device and connect it again. Now press up arrow and enter. You see that the IBAC error is fixed and you will see this green screen. Now again you will see this error unable to place device into restore mode. Now what will we do? Open the device management again and you will again see the iBoot driver. Right click it. Now click uninstall device and uninstall. All three devices will disappear again. 
now again open command prompt right now up arrow and enter now if you see this error no device found you can just disconnect the device and reconnect it now press the up arrow key and enter All these errors should now be fixed. Now the device should restore to the unsigned version using the blog. You can see the restore progress bar here and you can see the progress bar here also. You can see that the device is now restoring. Verifying restore. All right, as you can see the progress. So the restore is about complete. All right, guys, as you can see, it is restore finish. So it has succeeded the restore. Now the device will reboot and we will set it up normally. All right, guys, I have set the device up. You can see the version here. It is back on 14.5.1 and you can see the latest version is 15.0 at the time of making this video. All right, I'll show you the version on the device also. All right, you can see the version here, 14.5.1. All right, guys, that's all for this video. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please feel free to ask me anything. I will see you in a new video. Thanks a lot guys for watching this video until the end.